Welcome back. We're here looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for in June, Tuesday, June 22nd, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you're going to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos. And we'll start by, like you look, start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we have fallen quite significantly today. And that should not be a surprise. We were significantly outside of the bullish band for the last three trading days, so Wednesday, Thursday, and also Friday. And today we pull back. Didn't pull back as far as I expected it to go. Um, we can look in the Fibonacci retracements for this. And you can see that we could fall all the way down towards 91. Uh, 36 towards 91.05 or right here which i think we are going to go to which is 90.77 right at the 61.8 and the 20 exponential and the 50 moving average so this should be a massive uh, support break below here then we are looking back at these previous lows so this was always going to happen as we were significantly overbought significantly overstretched and pullbacks usually happens after that Technical indicators are still bullish, but they are turning around. So the question is whether or not we fall towards uh, this support area here, or we just bounce off the 200 moving average, we meaning that we are going back towards testing the 300 moving average, which is roughly up in this area here. I can get it fairly quickly. So around the 300 moving average, which is roughly at uh, 93.10. So question is, that is not going to happen at once. We'll have a pullback and then we'll rally. Otherwise, we could see something similar to this. But this was a shooting star that broke down. This was completely overstretched and, and mainly due to inflation news and, and so on, which is, yes, there is inflation, but it's not going to be a rake hide until at least 18 months from now. So let's look at oil. So oil uh, rallied more than 2% today. Uh, it is getting into, uh, uh, of course, there's a lot of, of demand for oil, probably not as much uh, production of oil as there was prior to Corona uh, crisis, but we are getting into a territory where we absolutely collapsed only a few years ago. So we are getting into this territory here. This is back in 2018. And I remember this day because this is the day when Donald Trump put out a tweet that basically made this market drop from 60, uh, 76 all the way down to 40, uh, $42 in, well, roughly a month and a half. And uh, that was a tweet, I think it was about uh, Iran leaving the Iran deal and uh, basically putting sanctions on Iran and so on. And the market completely uh, tanked. So we're getting into, we're getting probably going to test this. This is up at 60, uh, 76.74. And uh, we'll probably have a fairly big pullback, at least towards the middle of the bullish band or probably the, towards this area here or the previous lows, uh, previous highs here around 60. 63 and so on. So if we break above this, then we are most likely going to target back towards $100 per barrel. So yes, that is going to be exciting to see. Um, that will definitely not benefit the world economy if the if the main source of energy becomes that expensive. So just keep that in mind. So if we look at technical indicators, we are overbought at this point, getting fairly overstretched. So pullback should be expected at any point. And um, it will mostly be bought into at the round of the 20 exponential or in the middle of the bullish band. At this point, it's getting towards $70. So probably 70 is going to be the floor in this market. So you'll probably have a range between the 70, 76 and 70 uh, going forward. So let's look at natural gas. Yes, it looks like this market is um, getting back to, to reality, but still it's finding massive support down here in the middle of the bullish band. We fell towards uh, 20 exponential, uh, also the previous highs here, and then rallied. And this is a fairly uh, nice rally at the end of the session. However, technical indicators are looking very bearish. They're all turning around. So break below the middle of the bullish band drops uh, can drop us down to the 50 down at 2.99 and the 200 moving average at 
uh, 2.8. So usually this time of year, we see a decline in this market, but we have seen a rally. So a uh, reason for that, I don't have an explanation. Explanation. I just look at, I don't even basically can do it at the moment. It's looking at where these, uh, where the market is basically finding a support and resistance and uh, basically making trades do to that. But it has been a very surprising rally from the bottom here of roughly 2.47 towards uh, 3.3. That usually is something that you see in November, December, and so on, in the colder months, similar to what we basically saw here. So let's look at copper. So copper is um, rallying, finally. It has been dropping from the highs here of uh, 4.8 all the way down to 4.08. And uh, now it kind of looks like it's ready to rally up towards the 20 exponential. So that's rally uh, towards uh, 4.4. Uh, technical indicators are turning around. So Kansas gets across the second line. MACD is still bearish. CCI is turning around and the RSI is turning around as well. So we may see this rally up towards the 20. If we get rejected there, then we'll drop back towards four and probably the 200 moving average. So let's look at gold. So uh, US dollar, depreciating, um, yields depreciating, and uh, US uh, and the gold is basically rallying. We are at 1782. Uh, Technical indicators are turning around. This was significantly overstretched and also oversold. Doesn't mean that we're going back towards the top. We could rally up towards the 50 moving average or the 200, 200 moving average at 1840.34 and get rejected there and fall back towards the very lows. Um, it never can it never drops from the highs back towards the very uh, the lows at one at just one run it usually finds support rallies around the half and then drops uh, again so whether or not we can turn around here that is to be seen otherwise if we take out these previous lows and then we are going back to 70 100 and then probably to 60 um, 79 and so on so let's look at silver so silver has found support at the 200 moving average. That is, um, that's a kind of good news. Tested it three times. Uh, we are still overstretched here. So we may see this rally up towards the 50 moving average at the 27. Technical indicators are still very bearish. So drop below uh, the 200 moving average. Then we're looking at 25 and then 23 at the 300 moving average. So let's look at platinum. Yes, so platinum has also rallied today, still significantly overstretched, oversold underneath the 200 moving average. If we manage to break about the 200 moving average, then we could go back towards the, the 20 exponential that up here at 11.35. Otherwise, if you get rejected here, then we could drop towards the 300 at roughly 1000. So, so it is to be seen, this market has completely turned around after a really, really nice rally to the upside. So we went from the highs of roughly 13.15 down to where we are at 10.60. So let's look at Pallium. So Pallium has also rallied today. Basically everything has rallied after these massive moves to the downside. It is expected for this to rally. It could probably rally even further if you look at the Fibonacci retraces for this you can see that we are at 38.2 we could rally towards 26.35 uh, and then also to 26.81 uh, that is to be seen but there looks like there's still room to the upside before this could turn around and head back down if we look at technical indicators we can see that they are very bearish indeed MACD is bearish stochastic is bearish CGI is bearish and RSI is turning around uh, we were significantly oversold here down at 16 in RSI. So this was always going to rally. Uh, the question is just how far and whether or not uh, that rally can can stay, um, can, uh, can keep on or we get rejected at some point and fall back down. So let's look at aluminium. So aluminium has also rallied. It did not have a massive breakdown as most of the uh, metals uh, did last week. We did see a breakdown here on Thursday and Friday, and then today we have rallied. Technical indicators are still very bearish. We are 
kind of in the middle of nowhere. We need to break above the middle of bullish band in order to go to the highs, break below here, then we go to 20, the 250, and then to the 200 moving average. So let's look at nickel. So nickel has also rallied a bit, trading underneath the 20 exponential and the 50. Technical indicators are very bearish at this point, but are turning around. So break above the 50 moving, 20 middle of the bullish band, we could go back towards 18,600. Break below the 200 moving average, we could drop this all the way down to 15,500. Uh, 15, so let's look at, um, at uh, sugar. So sugar market has rallied, um, but got rejected really heavily at the 50 moving average. It got pretty close here, but it still looks like we have a crossing of the uh, 20 exponential and the 50, and usually that is not a very good sign. We can see what basically happened here. When we had the crossing, we dropped significantly lower towards the 200 moving average, and then when we crossed again, we rallied. So there is an uh, effect when that occurs. Um, sometimes it's big, sometimes it's not as big. And... Question that, question that is here if we're not roll over and head back towards the 200 moving average. If we look at technical indicators, they are still very bearish, but they are turning around after this rally here. So break about the middle of the bullish band, then we could go back to the top at 0 0.1799 and get rejected here. It could drop us back towards the 200 moving average at 0 0.1551. So let's look at cotton. So cotton has rallied above the 50 moving average, looking uh, fairly strong, and looks like we're heading back towards the top of the bullish band at 0 0.70, no, 0 0.8740. Technical indicators are turning around and becoming bullish, and so it looks like we are, this was basically as far as this would go. If we break below this, then we go, go back towards the bottom of the bullish band at 0 0.8123. So let's look at cocoa. Yes, Cocoa did rally up towards the 50 and got absolutely hammered here and uh, created an inverted hammer. Usually not a very good sign. If you take out these previous lows here, then we are dropping towards uh, 2235 and then 2087. Uh, Technical indicators are all over the place. So this is a market I stayed away from for a really long time and I'm going to continue staying away from this as it is very, very difficult to trade this market at this current stage. So let's look at wheat. So wheat has found support at the, the 200 moving average. It did rally up towards the 20, up here 672, got rejected. It also uh, tested uh, 647, and uh, now we're trading at 662. So yes, it's kind of in the middle of nowhere. It looks like 200 moving average is the bottom, but 20 exponential is the top. So within this range, we could go sideways until we get basically into a corner and then we'll have to go up or down. Um, that is to be seen. Um, and it probably will take uh, probably a couple of weeks before we'll see a, a move to the upside or to the downside. Technical indicators are also fairly all over the place. MACD is flat, Stochastic is flat, CCI is bearish, and the RSI is flat as well. So, hope you fans, hopefully you want to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button, and the bell button to see our new videos, and good luck, and thank you very much.